Well, this is interesting. Valve just released uh, the Steam Deck OLED's Windows drivers. Uh, and, you know, if you've been waiting for it, I'm happy for you. But right here on the Steam support page for the Steam Deck OLED, we have a message from Valve. Steam Deck is a PC and other applications and operating systems can be installed. If you're installing Windows, you will need a few additional drivers to have the best experience. Links to these, along with notes for installing Windows on Steam Deck, can be found below. We are providing these resources as is and are unfortunately unable to offer Windows on Deck support. If you get stuck and you need a way to get back to the default Steam Deck OS, please follow these recovery instructions. Now, the Steam Deck OLED has been out for months at this point, many, many months. And the fraction of a percent of people who would prefer to have Windows on their Steam Deck uh, have been waiting patiently for these drivers to be released because when you have a piece of hardware that hasn't been triaged to a stable state by either Microsoft or the manufacturer, well then you end up with the authentic Windows experience, a broken buggy pile of crap that has absolutely no right to be the industry standard or the default operating system. For example, uh, since the OLED's release, the Steam Deck has not been capable of actually producing out audio output except over HDMI. Uh, so the built-in speakers, the headphones, the Bluetooth audio, uh, they were not functional at that point. And even with these new drivers for the Steam Deck OLED, there are several caveats. The audio currently only works through headphones via the headphone jack or through Bluetooth audio. Uh, speaker drivers are still not available yet. And Bluetooth audio only supports audio output and microphone functionality is still in the works for them. Additionally, uh, dual booting is not directly supported, although there are ways to have SteamOS installed on uh, an SD card and then boot Windows off the internal drive. That's not really dual booting in the traditional sense, although it is some kind of approximation of it. But the thing is, all of these issues with Windows on the Steam Deck OLED are kind of the par for the course when it comes to Windows. And what's more, in order to actually install Windows and use these drivers, especially the Bluetooth driver in particular, uh, you actually have to update the Steam Deck, or, or Steam OS, I should say, to the latest uh, beta build, uh, version 3.6.9, in order to have the firmware automatically upgraded on the Steam Deck itself. Uh, then you can actually install Windows. And so if you want to actually install Windows on your machine, what you're going to need is a copy of Windows. You'll need to shut off your machine, and then you're going to hold down the volume down button and the power button. Uh, and then you will you should see uh, the boot menu, which should allow you to uh, select a boot option. You'll want to make sure that you have a, a Windows drive. This one actually has a little, uh, uh, what is that? USB-C, that's the word I'm looking for. You can plug that in and uh, boot up your machine from there. And then if you want to go back to actually good operating systems, you can go into the Steam Deck recovery options here, make a uh, bootable disk using either Rufus or on Linux, you can use Belina Etcher. And you can download the recovery image and copy that onto your SD card, or I should say your USB stick, and then boot from there, just like you did before. Fun times that we live in. Um, Windows is still broken. I don't know why anyone would want to uh, run Windows on a Steam Deck. Doesn't make any sense to me. I've seen a lot more people interested in uh, running Steam OS, like authentic Steam OS, on their RG Ally. If you want to see a video about that, you can click up here.